tonight? There's so many messages going on. You've got so many inf influencers coming from so many different areas. You have government, you have private sector, you have public sector. I think that the biggest underlying theme is everybody has a desire to actually move the needle. And the newer, this dialogue that, that took place today, the humanitarian award, Dr. Portak and, and Paul Pullman, and these people coming together, I think is a step, a major leap in the right direction, which is trying to get which localized influences together to make one or two singleized initiatives happen. You know, we saw Dan Hess, Paul Pullman, Sergio from the Public Foundation, um, a number of different people in the seat today. And each of them had different messages. And I found it really fascinating the different avenues and the different uh, directions they take they ch to accomplish the same goal. Actually, you know what one of the most fascinating parts is behind the scenes. I mean, we're seeing the, the award ceremony today. But, you know, Paul Pullman spoke at Davos. He's spoken at the United Nations. He chairs one of the big SDG board initiatives at it the UN. It was pretty impressive, yes. It was very impressive. But I guess the thing that, I, that really wasn't talked about today is why they're doing this. Like, what is it that, why is Paul Pullman involved? Why is Unilever getting involved with, with public policy? And I think there could come the realization that people are sick of hearing politicians talk about initiatives, about ideals and activism and, and, and a utopic environment. You know, the people who actually have all the power, I realize, you know, the, those officials that are creating those policies realize that they'd rather hear from CEOs of private corporations than the policy makers because the corporations actually act and do what they say where the, 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 the public uh, servants uh, have their initiatives and agendas but with no accountability behind it. And corporations can't follow that, that same path. They have to execute, otherwise they see a loss in the capital markets, they see uh, you know, the, the, uh, sentiment and shareholder that, value drops. That's a great point because one of the things Paul said, he said, and, and he echoes what you're saying about, about the political environment. We're hearing it in the, in the political rhetoric li literally everywhere. But in the end, it's going to come down to, to business. And if we, we set an agenda in place and we set the conditions in place where, where business can do their job, it's actually going to be profitable. At, at the end of the day, it's, um, I, I think a lot of the politicians mean well with what they're doing, but they don't have the capability, the resources, the wherewithal to actually turn what would be a private sector initiative into a public sector initiative. It actually has to come from the private sector. And guys like Paul Pullman saying, listen, we can still do business, make money, and do good through the process. We don't need to create a whole bunch of waste. We don't need to be inefficient. We can be efficient. Right, things just don't get done. But within the world of business, it is about the bottom line, and if you create a better product and in this case, a better world, mm -hmm. people will pay for it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, look at, look at Apple's a great example of this. Apple is a highly efficient organization that actually came up with um, a product that was better, fit, faster, more efficient, required less resources, but was five times the cost of, of, of their competitor, which would be Microsoft. They became the biggest corporation in the world with only 6% market share. A 6% market share yeah. because people believed in what Apple was doing and, and if we can get that same sentiment wrapped around social impact and businesses that do voluntary you know, emissions testing and those sorts of things versus hiding what their carbon footprints are, you're going to find people are going to believe in those corporations, they're going to spend more money with those corporations, they're going to be highly more, more profitable. The first ones to the line are going to benefit the most from it. Okay. Well